All right, so I've been meaning to tell you all this story for a little while now. The floodwaters vanished as fast as they'd come. In the heart of America's fourth largest city, they're just beginning to contemplate the aftermath of an unprecedented storm. As of this moment, uh, I've, I've made a state disaster declaration for 50 counties and a federal disaster declaration for 19 counties. Understanding that our first and foremost priority right now uh, is to ensure that we continue to save every life we can. Observe the federal government's response to Harvey. My thoughts and prayers for those affected by Hurricane Harvey. Harvey provoking an unfolding flooding disaster in America's fourth largest city. Hurricane Harvey. A week after Hurricane Harvey. Hurricane Harvey. 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 Now Hurricane Harvey. And So on August 25th, Hurricane Harvey would hit Texas as a Category 4 storm. Uh, according to CNN, they said it made landfall with a diameter of 280 miles and winds of 130 miles per hour on the initial, um, the initial landfall. The estimated total number of deployed uh, National Guardsmen for the storm uh, would get up to about 12,000. Um, and then something called the Cajun Navy, um, which was essentially just a bunch of uh, people bringing their own boats from Louisiana to help out, uh, especially in Houston. Uh, two estimates put total losses at as much as $75 billion and an estimated 30,000 people would need temporary shelter um, once the storm had hit the area. According to the Washington Post on September 14th, the death toll had made it up to about 82 people. Six months, and they are still very much in ruins to what this storm did. Um, my experience was nothing like what a lot of people have gone through. I found out that the storm was coming, and initially it was just a tropical storm, maybe a Category 1. And I was like, you know, let's ride this, this sucker out. Um, my mom wasn't real but it was uh, it was definitely not too big of a storm initially so I went to the store and um, apparently I wasn't the only one who thought let's try riding this out so uh, all the water was gone uh -oh. 
I think I grabbed two cases of flavored water. <laughs> two cases, two cases of flavored water and some Gatorade. Exactly what you need to be riding out uh, any any storm. But um, uh, that was the Wednesday before the storm hit. Like I said, it hit on Friday. And uh, the next morning, I was actually woken up and my mom and my stepdad were like, hey, um, the storm had upgraded. All right, so uh, first week in Corpus, I uh, stocked up because it looked like it might have been just a little tropical storm. Now they're saying hurricane. So I'm peacing out. I'll see you later, Corpus. <laughs> Let, I, I, let's be honest though. I'll, dodge, dip, duck, dive, and dodge against uh, tornadoes all the time. I don't do hurricanes, though, man. That's that's some next-level stuff. That's, mm, no siree. I mean, I like swimming, but I ain't no dolphin. I don't, through the flooded parts of, good Lord. I, you see this? I'm driving a car. I ain't, ain't gonna be driving no boat up and down some streets. That's, that's too much of a friggin' hassle. And I mean, when I got back, casualties for me was uh, out behind my apartment was a bent over tree. So I must uh, warn you, the damage here is pretty uh, extensive back here in Corpus. Oh dear lord, it pains me to look. I had uh, sour milk, more like chunky milk. Uh, so, uh... Here's casualty number two. Oh, I mean, look at that, it's chunky milk. <laughs> That's so gross. Doesn't smell too good either. Oh. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, my, my version of the storm was minimal. Corpus barely got hit. Um, Hey, so if uh, anybody's coming to Corpus and you're hungry, <laughs> too bad. No food anywhere. Um, and I mean, we were watching the news that night as it made landfall, and uh, we were kind of joking around because from what uh, we saw through a camera, it, it didn't look that bad at all. But uh, when we got up the next morning, we weren't laughing so much.
Once in Houston, though, that's where it wasn't a matter of wind or, you know, the usual damage you see from storms like this where you have big waves, a lot of wind, and just everything's destroyed and then the storm's kind of over. Houston was essentially, they just got rained on. of doing that as far as we can tell those evacuations have not officially began now where the uh, some someone is being rescued there Tom yeah it looks like there are three people and a dog being rescued uh, by this team of, of four rescue workers about 12 14 inches and this is the most and it's up to my hips so so where do you go there's somebody sitting on top of their car waiting for the Tom. Yeah, we're now on the uh, eastbound lanes. We crossed over to the other side. everything on 10 tables and on the kitchen counters and we said we'll go to the, our, our house that was going to be a dry house which we found out is flooded and it came down so hard that now although this storm has truly been devastating in really every way possible there has been one positive from all of it, and that's the true power and love of the American spirit that we got to see. It's a classic line from the Bible, Cain asking, am I my brother's keeper? In Texas, after Hurricane Harvey, a lot of good Samaritans answered that question with the resounding yes. And rising from these floodwaters, the human spirit. Two young children carried to safety in the arms of a sheriff's deputy in Cypress, Texas. Amidst the chaos and destruction, images of kindness and strength. Neighbor helping neighbor, lending a hand and giving a hug. A reminder, there is something in all of us a storm just can't break. Now this is what we can give people with our donations tonight. We can't bring back what they lost, but we can help them know where to take the next step. Saw, you know, friends, houses underwater, and just an uh, unbelievable thing to see that, you know. So we've got friends that are rebuilding houses, you know, that, that uh, were totally lost, and, uh, and you know, just many people. Too, so we're here to help them. Hope we can. I feel helpless seeing water rush down streets that I drive down every day. Um, I said, how can I help? And so I started to think and I said, I have this incredible platform. I have all this social media and all these followers. Um, let's see if I can raise a little bit of money to help these people out and try and get some relief efforts going. coming together under the worst of circumstances. One in need of a hand in a desperate moment. The other helping however they can. With all of Harvey's destructive power, perhaps hope was built on these chance meetings with everyday heroes. We need your help. The call went out. 
and it didn't take long for it to be answered from across the country. Selfless displays of courage, bravery, and heroism on full display. So, I mean, although it's been six months, um, there's still a lot needed to be done. Um, we still need help. Many places are still incredibly uh, damaged or destroyed. So, you know, if, if there's ever any way you can, you want to help out, there's plenty of different organizations that you can donate to or through volunteering or mission groups to come down and assist with everything, every little bit helps and would be greatly appreciated um thank you for uh watching and uh i would i would really appreciate if you shared um and continue to pray for uh, all those who have been affected by hurricane harvey here in texas i'll catch you on the next video